straightallday.com. Done a tutorial on this before. I wanted to give an updated Euro step tutorial. So the Euro step, we know you're going to take one step to the outside, and then another step to the inside. So if you're right-handed, first step with the right foot, then with the left foot. Same thing when you go on left. You step with the left foot first, and you step with the right. Then you'll be shooting with your left hand most of the time under normal conditions. So you're going to step one foot outside, next foot inside, and it can be a short step also. As you see there, you make a quick adjustment, take two little small steps for your Euro. That can work for you too. Remember the ultimate goal is to put the ball in the basket. It's not exactly about what the move looks like. Here you can see in the on-court example, as I step towards the outside, my body's pointing towards that outside area. Then I take another step and goes to the inside. So all your weight's gonna be on that foot that you're stepping with. So when you take that first step, the Euro step, all your weight will be on that right foot in that situation. And if you can do it to the right, be able to go to the left. So you step with your left foot first, then you step with your right foot. Jumping off your right foot, you're gonna take the shot with your left hand. I mean, you can take it with your right if that works for you. Be able to do it both ways. If you're around the basket within eight feet, you should be able to finish with either hand, no matter what the situation is. So there. Left foot, right foot, then over here, I'm going to use a little bit of a drag step to the Euro. Notice how my left foot doesn't come off the floor that much. It just drags there along the floor. So you see how it just stays low. I take a big step, I'm just dragging that foot along. Same way that you drag a foot on the crossover. Same thing left to right. Dragging that back foot along, or you could take a big explosive step here. I'm going to use a little bit of a reverse going up and under the rim. There, left to right, and finishing with the left hand on the other side of the rim using the angles here. Then I'm left foot first, then the right foot at a bigger angle. You can see the reverse here. Another option is to hold the ball high. See how I keep that ball up by my chin with my elbows out so the defender's not going to reach in there. Another one's James Harden's, one of his favorite techniques is to stick his arms out and keep the ball low. So the defenders start to reach in for it. They foul him, he gets in ones. Here you can short step the Euro step and use a little floater or a bank shot. So you see I'm actually jumping, instead of jumping at the rim, I'm jumping about 10 to 12 feet away from the rim. I can shoot a little floater or a bank shot. Here you see I kind of raise that ball up over and behind my head. On the right side is the same thing. So I go to that reverse. Right foot, left foot, reverse it to the other side. Use that high English. Rajon Rondo is the guy that comes to mind when I see something like that. Left foot, right foot. Same thing with the floater. You kind of short step it. Jump from about 10 feet away. Still using the Euro step move. Still legal. And of course you got to put it in the hoop. Same thing. You want to make it a short floater with that Euro step depending on where you do the move from. Or you can take two longer steps which will get you more to the rim. If you look at a James Harden, a Kevin Durant, somebody like that. Another option would be a Dwayne Wade. He could take short steps and shoot the little floater shot. But whatever you do, just make sure you put the ball in the hoop. Thumbs up to like the drill, the tutorial, work on your game.